What's going on everybody? It's Corbman and I am back with another video and this is for Halo Reach on PC. Now this is my first modding video for it. I'm going to be covering all Halo, Halo Reach mods and any game that comes out in the Master Chief Collection. Um, obviously Halo Reach is the first one that came out yesterday and let's get right into it. This is the most basic tutorial you can do. This is Reshade. Applying Reshade is great for games that are 10 years old like Halo Reach that need better lighting and better coloring and stuff like that. Now to be exact, Reshade is a generic post-processing injector for games and video software developed by Crosshire. Imagine your favorite game with ambient occlusion, real depth of field effects, color correction, and more. Reshade exposes in an automated and generic way to access both frame color and depth information and all the tools to make that happen. So basically, this is a little more different than the other uh, Reshade tutorials, and that's why I'm mainly doing it, uh, because you don't just do it to the normal executable, because it's on the Master Chief Collections. In the end, it's going to be a whole bunch of games in one, so the main executable doesn't work. It just launches it. So to do this, first of all, first of all, you're going to start off Reshade. Now I have the newest version, you can have any other version, I know they all work and they're all whitelisted, and they, you can use this on the modified or unmodified version when you play. Now when it opens up, it's going to say select a game to install. This is where it gets a little trickier than normal, which is not hard, it's just kind of weird. But you go to the Master Chief Collection, normally you would just click the application in that folder. But that is not it. That is not how you do it this time. That actually just launches it. It's not the actual game. So you go to MCC, Binaries, Win64, and then, as you can see, I've already applied it to the MCC Win64 shipping. Now if you get got lost, it's right here, and it's been up here the whole time. This is the folder that it is in. So you're going to click on MCC Windows 64 shipping. Now it's going to select rendering API the game uses, or I'm going to, it's saying for me to select it. So yeah, you're going to click direct X. If you already have an installation, which I did, you can, you know, just install it over it or just uninstall it if you want that way. Here it will allow you to download a collection of shaders or textures, which will apply effects and masks to the uh, game you're playing. You might use those. The Vignette is great because Halo Reach did not have one, while the other ones did, I believe, at least for the visor, um, especially since I'm on such a wide screen. Now, it has succeeded, but if you want to edit some more settings, you can skip the tutorial that just shows you where everything is. Um, you you should probably do it if you've never, if you're watching this, but I don't think I'm gonna, sh you know, you can do that to help you more. But I just enable the FPS, and then if you have a slower computer, performance mode does help that. Um, after that, you'll see succeeded. It, it should have already been there prior to that. Now, all you got to do is go on the Master Chief Collection. Now, I'm going to show you how my setup is. I got it on Steam, right? Now, you can do either or, but I have Forge installed, which will not launch with that. So I'm going to click that and play. Now, the thing is, is... I have all my mods on Steam because if you don't put your old map files on, it might not work or it won't allow you to play matchmaking. So, or you can get, you know, tagged for cheating because people will probably still try to cheat, obviously. People are always going to be assholes. <laughs> but anyways, um, the other thing I was going to say is what I do is whenever I just play it to play it, I get, using my Game Pass, I got it for free anyways. Uh, so I just play it through Xbox on the Master Chief Collection, and it works just the same exact way, but um, I just keep that version unmodded. Now, I am now on the menu system. As you can see, it's really dark, and that's because I already have some settings applied. I am going to skip the tutorial. You can go through that if you like. I'm going to unapply everything I had applied, which these are some of my favorite uh, effects that don't really affect the FPS, which is... A big thing because a lot of these affect the FPS a lot. So I'm going to go to Halo Reach, I'm going to go to Missions, if you notice my frames per second solid 60. It's going to drop once I'm in the game because I'm recording, it doesn't normally do that. But I'm going to go to the tip of the spear because it's a really washed out mission. I want to add some more uh, color and some more, you know, just better lighting in general. Now. I'm probably going to have to kill off some of the guys at the beginning, just so there's not so much going on. 
And I don't think I'm gonna have to skip any video, uh, skip forward, because this loads pretty fast on my computer. I got a solid state drive, I believe. Alright, so as you can see, it looks good. I'm losing a lot of frames because it just started and because I'm recording right now. But um, I'm going to clear everything out a little bit so it's not so chaotic. And like I was saying, you do not lose frames if you are, if you're not recording like that, you know. I normally like to go on a solid 60. I also have like a mid to higher range computer. I need to upgrade uh, everything to the higher end range eventually. But I'm good right now. So first of all, what I'm going to... That balloon just... I can't get used to the balloon, man. <laughs> Anyways, alright. So, going into that tutorial, you're going to press the home button, and you're going to see a list of awesome stuff on here. Now, um... The ones I like are... For, that don't also do a lot. For example, Clarity's probably my favorite. Clarity just bumps up, like... It just makes everything look more clear and more modern, you know, for games. The, the lighting, especially. Then, levels adds black and uh, bright, the, you know, the whites and the blacks are increased. It's kind of like adding HDR, or fake HDR, but that's, for my taste, that's too much. If you like that pitch black, solid blacks, then that's for you. Uh, curves helps that as well. I don't need that, though. Curves doesn't do too much, and it also takes a lot of frames. Vibrance that helps some games. But my thing is colorfulness. Just look at this. Look how washed out this mission is. Now look at when I click it on. Bam. I'll do that again. It's not shiny. Now bam. Look at their shields too. Bam. Look at the sky. Bam. Oh my god. Now that is like the biggest thing. Uh, a lot of games didn't have HDR or the coloring to even like apply. So it, they just all by default look washed out. I mean look at the freaking differences. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go over a couple other ones. Motion Blur. They took off Motion Blur, which you can still enable in the menu, but you can add this one on if you like that one better. Um, let's see. You can go all the way through here. Bloom and Lens Flare. FXXA. You can see what it's doing by, like, by just looking at the screen. Obviously, this adds cartoons. Look at the trees when I turn it on. I can make it look more strong and maybe... You see that? Now now it looks like freaking Borderlands. <laughs> if you want the game to look like Borderlands, there you go. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I'm not hating, I'm just saying. The skyboxes are good. Um, if you use, let's see. There, I'm trying to remember, there's so much stuff on here. Oh, Vignette, I have Vignette on because, well, as you can see on the corners, there is no big net. So the original, I do new, because, and you can adjust that as well. Because Halo Reach doesn't have one. Um, the other Halos, I believe, all the other ones do. Maybe, uh, maybe past Halo Reach. I'm gonna move that to the top. You can right click and move to the top if you use it or if you like it. Here's another one. Yeah, but anyways, so. Reflective bump mapping is pretty interesting. It really changes how the game looks, and it may or may not help you, but it does take a toll to your uh, processing power. All right, cord again, or cut off. All right, anyways, um, so you can apply like a lens balloon, and that'll that'll help, you know, the, if you look at the sun, you see how it's getting much brighter. Now that's pretty cool, you can move that to the top. And like I was saying, I'm losing a lot of frames, but it, it won't do too much uh, if you're not recording. I'm recording on this ratio, It's my resolution is extremely high on an ultra-wide monitor, um, so it really kills the frames right now. But as you can see though, I mean just look at everything right now. Just look at the coloring. All that's just beautiful, in my opinion.
But anyways, guys, so, as you can see, it looks like a whole new game. After I kill these guys, I'm just gonna do another scene comparison. Pony has ID two hostile anti-aircraft guns southwest of your location. Copy oh, this, <laughs> this dude just Copy. fell in my way. Anyways, alright. So the skyboxes have always looked really great, but there is such a big difference whenever you turn these off. Especially when there's a lot of color. This isn't the best one, but there was a lot of color, you know, earlier. Just look at how it looks now. It almost looks like it's a Clear to Clear commercial with this off. You know, you're like, try Clear to Clear. Get more color in your life. <laughs> you know, like, it's, it's awesome the difference uh, these make. So that's all for you to try. And you can tinker with all these to get the effect that you want. I'm going to I'm gonna kill Curves. Curves, curves doesn't do. I don't like that. You know, I don't like how that looks. And you can just, you know, move them and drag them around. Uh, keep tinkering with different stuff to see what it does. As you can see, there's another ambient light. If that one wasn't enough, which to me it is, that kind of knife vision. <laughs> I don't know why you would need these. You know, some of them are really insane. There's a lot of weird stuff on here, but some are actually pretty useful. Just, you know, it depends what you want. You can tint it a different color. But like I said, it will apply it to the whole entire game itself. Now, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Um, even the menu, as you can see, just looks so much more colorful. And that is what I love about, that's what I loved, past tense, about Halo 1. Is it was so beautiful up to, you know, Halo 3 and then Halo Reach. The planet itself is just, you know, it's not that very colorful. And maybe it's just the art style they chose, but... I don't like it, you know, the only bad thing about Reshade is it really makes this menu look weird, you know, it's really dark, but it's whatever, um, and again, uh, <coughs> for a tutorial, for a little <coughs> sneak preview, oh my god, I don't know what's going on, um, if you click create on the next tutorial, you can play Forge, and that will allow you to do so much more since forge is not enabled but i will show you how to do that on the next video you guys have a great day and i will see you next time peace out